flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. I'm enjoying my morning coffee in my best mom ever mug. And I am surrounded oh, by gorgeousness because it is the biggest and final bouquet bar of the season. I'm having two, one this evening and then one tomorrow morning and I have buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets of flowers and I'm so excited because that means Number one, I'm overwhelmed because I don't know what to do because I my brain's like, this one, this one, this one, this one. When I'm building the bouquets, I get super overwhelmed when there's so much going on. Um, number two, I am so excited to offer these flowers to people. I uh, got some flowers from Gina. I have buckets of my own flowers. I have more to harvest, actually. <laughs> I have a ton more gladiola to get. Quiet down. Tractor trailers are so rude when they drive by my house. Don't they know that we're filming here? Anyway, I have zinnias, and I have more of my dahlias to get. I have sunflowers to get. I think that's it. And I never ended up harvesting basil last night. I forgot completely, but I don't think I need it. I did get a couple of stems of cinnamon basil, but that's specifically for Lily. Lily, my CSA customer, she's been asking uh, for the cinnamon basil. So anyway, let's go over the ingredients today. Gina's Lysianthus. I have my own Lysianthus in here as well. I have four stems this week. <laughs> like I said, well, if you don't know any of my videos, you don't know, but out of all of my 280 or whatever Lysianthus that I started on a tray, I had about 30 plants make it into the ground and flower, like survive. So I had, I still have a few more to harvest, but um, I had harvested four last night and they were so cute. And then I have Celosia, Ageratum. I've got, look at this guys. That's too far. I gotta clean this up. This is one of Gina's. And uh, look at the cranium. It's the awesome coxcomb celosia. So, and we, we're, we have like a fall theme vibe. Also, surprise! I changed up my logo a little bit. I don't know if you noticed at the beginning of the video. Um, I had the, the local artist who helped me create my logo. I had her, um, well, okay, so. I posted a picture of my red spike amaranth and some of my celosia and I immediately go, mmm, because my logo, I love my logo, is pink and purples, um, like very spring-like, so there's a lot of spring flowers on it. So, um, but we can take those flowers and make them into fall colors. So just, it's a seasonal change. I'm gonna like use it in September, October, maybe November. So she made the, the peony into like a cranberry color to kind of match the red spike. And then um, the dahlia, she changed to make it darker. She darkened the sunflower and then the daffodil, um, the trumpets inside, the, the cones, she darkened those as well. So. We're going with the fall theme, and I actually think I might make an ice blue logo for winter. Um, so, but for the majority of the time, you're going to see my regular logo. Anyway, that's enough about that. But I'm going with the fall theme today in my fallness. I had orange pants, and I can't find them. I'm not happy about that. I specifically had orange pants that matched the shirt that I bought. It's years old, but it was like my one of my favorite outfits, and I can't find the orange pants. Not happy. Boo Plurnum. Celosia. Oplernum. This amazing red hyacinth snow in the mountain. There's buckets behind the buckets, behind the buckets. There's gladiolas and sunflowers, buckets of lilies over here, more celosia, marigolds. Oh, check these dahlias out. Keeping with the fall theme. <laughs> Isn't the art piece amazing? Like, think. This is a sight for sore eyes because I think I'm not in, I'm not alone when I say this has not been a good dahlia year. Um, and I've been, I chatted with a couple of local farmers within an hour of me, same thing. Okay, so the first bouquet that I'm gonna make is for my CSA customer, Amy. Uh, she's been waiting for like the fall colors and the dahlias, so, uh, and she loves zinnias. So I'm gonna put that together with some fallness to it. Fallness! Well, I don't have my tools out here. I don't have my clippers. Um, Let's see. Definitely some of the orange spike. I'm gonna have to fix this for uh, for the bouquet bar. Like clean everything up. I do clean everything up when people um, come at the end and hand me their flowers because I always 
clean them up and cut them for them and put the rubber band on it and send them on their way, but I'm just making a mess. Where's, I gotta get a bucket. I have a bucket for all these things. All right, what are we going here? So, so far I've got a sunflower, some zinnias, this, I'm gonna push down this Salouja unnecessary. I actually might get two smaller pieces so that I can break it up. I don't know, I like it. Okay, so, Dahlia. I'm gonna have to do a couple more glads because I need to get, I put the one glad in here because I found one burgundy one, but I need more, um, more of that. And I might actually brighten it up with, a, with one of the green Lizzie's, but not like a huge one. Yes, this is like a perfect stem to just brighten it up. <gasps> okay, let's get some glads in there. Okay. Gotta clean up this sunflower. and rubber band it to the bottom. But I found a purple glad and like a, another gorgeous one here with this deep, 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 and then a red, and then Lizzie's. So let me cut this, arrange it a little better. <laughs> I actually took out that big hunk of Celosia, put it back right here, love it. But I wanted to um, break up the colors. So I got three smaller pieces of the same Celosia and um, spread it around, and I also added a little cute little coxcomby thing, so. It's a fall bouquet. I think she'll love it. I don't know, the whites kind of throw me off. Well, that's it. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> okay, so I, I took a quick break and I went inside. My son woke up. I was helping him with breakfast. I was getting another cup of coffee. The puppies were going crazy. And then the sun came out. So I'm like, I don't want to be in the bright sun. I don't want the flowers to be in the bright sun either. So I'm going to speed this process up a bit. I always say that and I always still take forever. So let's just make, make pretty things. Let's do it. Okay, I'm, I need to use some of these lilies. Oh my God. Look at these rose lilies. They're phenomenal. So I just grabbed... Uh, like a, a magenta, a pinky purple, and a pink glad, and the rose lilies. And I'm going to add some beauty to this. One, two, three. Let's do some snow. Yas! Yas snow! All of these gorgeous ingredients, and the sun's really making it so it's difficult to see. I'm gonna add this major lily in here. It's a major lily. And I'm gonna probably cut off a couple of the spent heads, and it's gonna be amazing. Let me cut off the heads. Where'd my clippers go? A pup of gumfrina there. I, should cut, I gotta cut more of this for tomorrow. And a pop of gumfrina there. I love that. Um, this is a lot. This is a pretty big bouquet. It's got two sets of lilies, three sums of glads, uh, one dahlia, some celosia, snow in the mountain, a rose lily, some lisianthus, gumfrina. Um, I love it. I think this one's ready. <laughs> okay, next up is my CSA member, Lily. Lily! Lily, dirty Lily, is uh, a lover of cats, so she requested no lilies, and she also went as far and as rudely requested white sunflowers. Jeez, Lily, okay, I'll save them all for you. So probably just gonna give her some white sunflowers. And some Lilianthus, or should I call it Lilianthus? Lilianthus, oh my God. Look at, look how little they are. <laughs> I walked down to the, oh my God, I'm like tearing up because they're so cute. But like, just because I'm laughing and probably gonna sneeze. <laughs> so look at, look how little. 
Oh my god! There's another one! <laughs> so these, I just picked a whole bunch of mini sunflowers. Um, I just planted them close together and I talked about that with you guys. I was kind of getting lazy, my last succession planting down in my sunflower field and uh, usually I go six or so inches. I put these ones a little bit closer together and they're adorable. This one's a little, I think this is the biggest one I have on that row. But the rest, look how gorgeous they are. Look how small and gorgeous and beautiful. These plums are really um, consistent in their coloring. But one of the things that I love about plums is um, you kind of never know what you're gonna get. Let me show you an example that I, I was just out harvesting from the other sunflower field as well. Check these out. So these are both plums. This one is almost all plum. And then this one has only the like plum around the middle. This one's still opening up. It's still semi-closed, but they're contra they, they make a nice contrast to each other. So it's nice to have them together. In fact, maybe I'll make a bouquet with them soon. But also I've noticed the plums have a weaker head. They're more likely to droop. I just harvested this, so it's fine. But after it's been out of its life, like after you basically kill the plant, and uh, by cutting it, it's, it starts to droop. It's uh, also the first one to lose its petals, according to my customers, because I, I gave them one of my CSA options this uh, summer was a bouquet of straight sunflowers, and I had mix. I had regulars, I had plums, I had whites, and I had the reds. Oh, I didn't see any reds ready. I'm gonna go check for reds, too. And uh, one of my CSA members said the plums dropped first, so. Anyway, good to know. Okay, we're back to Lily. So I grabbed uh, one of the white sunflowers and uh, a petalless sunflower. And I grabbed a, a stem of these miniature lisianthus that I love so much. So now I'm gonna grab some, I wanted to give her some cinnamon basil. I specifically got some cinnamon basil for her because um, she's been asking about it. Cinnamon basil um, smells amazing. I don't think this was in water, which is a bummer. So it should perk up. Oh, it'll perk up for her um, once I cut it. And I'm actually going to see how there's like a, that, that'll allow it to um, drink better because if it doesn't, like one stem trying to feed everything. So break it into two stems and it will drink better. It will soak up more water. I'm gonna give her some of this as well. So this is cool. Like Gina, this is Gina's. It's um, like these spiky things. And she said that she um, forgot to label it. So she was going to let me know. She was going to look it up on her um, order because it's two years old. It's actually gone to seed. So I'm going to get the seeds out, <laughs> but it's still gorgeous. Okay. Lily, do you want snow on the mountain or red hyacinth? Red hyacinth. Sorry, I hate being over there because you can't see me. I'm gonna try and turn the camera on because I think the sun is turning away. So I put the red hyacinth in. It just gives it so much body and deliciousness um, and that color, the contrast between the pinks and the reds and the whites. Oh, I don't know, guys. Maybe we'll go to the opposite end of the porch. Okay, so this is a little better. So I've got this. Now I need to add some more color and some more height. I did add this cool orach, orach. Rock. My mail's here. Okay, so get all that going on and then probably some, a couple of these zinnias because they're amazing. I'm gonna add the pinky ones in there. Wow, I'm loving that. Let's go with that one. I love the contrast between the dark burgundy of the hyacinth and the lights of all the pinks. Again, tractor trailer, just excuse you, excuse you. I burped right past my house. Okay, one more I think sunflower and then we'll call this a day. My CSA member Pat is here and we just made this together. She said she was feeling fall, <laughs> so I was pulling colors out. So. I needed to show you guys because I was showing you guys all the bouquets that I was putting together. So there are some zinnias, dahlias, sunflowers, gladiolas. There's a gorgeous stem of the deep purple lisianthus. You can't even see it right now because it's 
the sun is weird. Sorry, guys. It's <laughs> can't see it. Anyway, there's a lot of color going on, and I'm feeling fall too. All right, I'll cut it up for you. <laughs> okay, so I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna speed this up. I say this all the time. I say it all the time. All right. Okay, for this bouquet, I have a beautiful set of lilies, this amazing dahlia, a bunch of pink lads, some that are fully open just for um, like impact, and then I have a few that are fully closed so that it'll last longer in the vase. And then I have a couple of these um, beautiful darky purple zinnias. And then I have this amazing stem of white lisianthus along with a couple of the lime greeny almost like a lettuce colored shalusia i love it so um pat actually came while i was finishing up lily's bouquet so i did end up adding um a dahlia where is it right here a dahlia and some gumfrina to lily's bouquet now i feel like it has the pomp and circumstance that it so deserves. It's another finished bouquet. It's got a beautiful plum on the back with the red hibiscus, some of the uh, pale green celosia, one of those um, pale green uh, glads too, and then a few pink glads, some, some pink zins, uh, and then clearly the focal point is this gorgeous sunflower right there. I love this one. It's kind of like I needed, I, I have so many pink and purple glads, I need to pull fall into that because it's September, guys. So I think this was a good way to do that. It doesn't scream summer, but it also doesn't scream fall, but I think it's a happy medium. I just had um, the, ch like, okay, so there's a Cornell Cooperative Extension. You guys know what that is. Like, it's your local place where you, your local extension where you would call and get advice on gardening and et cetera, et cetera. So they have a flower and herb, herb and flower festival every year. Um, this year it was canceled because of COVID, but um, they just came to my porch and she asked me to be um, the, the featured speaker at next year's festival. I said, of course, oh my God, they're like 45 minutes. I was like, I don't know if I can be that short. I'm just kidding. But, um, awesome. Yes. So we'll be doing that. So excited. All right. So I have, um, I've had, while I was away, while the camera was off, I had a couple of my CSA members came, they come, they came and took the bouquets. That one with the featured sunflower, it's gone already. Lin Liddy Megs took it. Yinny Megs, Lindsay, Lindsay. And, um, so I have, I think I have to make three more now and then I gotta make my deliveries. Oh, I gotta make Mrs. Marcy, it's her last one. Hi guys, I'm putting together another bouquet. I'm like losing my mind right now. I'm like spinning, I'm trying to think of like, but anyway, processing, processing. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab some snow on the mountain, I think. Oh my, oh my gosh, my dog won't stop barking. Zinnias, I need, I think I need another zinnia. Yep. Yep, okay. Just enough white pops with the burgundy and, oh look. There's a hole in my shirt and the stem went through it. <laughs> oh my God. So here are some of the arrangements that I've made so far. Let me move this one out of the way. So there's some pinky purples and some pinkies. And then I'm trying to get in the fall zone, but it's so hard when I have so many pink and purple glads. But I do have some other glads. I think I'm gonna go out and harvest more. Okay, so I have one more to make before I head out. And I grabbed these gorgeous stems of lilies and lisianthus. And then there's this one glad. So I'm gonna add to this. It's pink, but now I'm gonna bring fall in. So I'm gonna go grab some of the mahogany color. Y'all. Yes. Okay, so we're bringing the darks in. Let's see. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna bring this, it's a, um, it's a twofer dahlia with the center. It's so pretty. Bring that in, oh my. Let's see. 
I'm gonna put a pop of pink in there. And then another, like a darker. I like it. Get some of these lower stems off. Okay, so now I wanna bring in a couple more pops of color. Maybe with some, ooh. This is that Texas Plume Rose Celosia. Um, yeah, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna put a stem on both sides and I think that, oops, sorry, rounds it out with the pinks and the burgundies. Um, might add a sunflower in here actually. Yeah, that plum sunny. I'm gonna put another plum sunny back here, one that's a little more closed because this one's fully open. It's not gonna last as long in the vase for them. So I'm gonna find one that's, this one's just starting to open up. So I'm gonna tuck it in back here. There, beauteous. Okay, this is my last one. Okay, so, I got all the bouquets ready. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five people already came to pick theirs up. I have two to deliver, um, right? I gotta check my um, computer again. And then I have six more behind me that are gonna be picked up and then the bouquet bar. So I've made like 11 bouquets this morning and then I have tomorrow someone's picking up five and tonight at the bouquet bar somebody's picking up two so I still have to make those but um, I also have to go harvest glads because I almost went through an entire bucket of glads making these bouquets this morning. Think about it. I put three, sometimes four or five in each one times 11. That's 40 something glads and uh, <laughs> I went through a bucket. So I know I have a ton more left out there that I didn't cut last night. I just got so exhausted between harvesting at Gina's house with Gina and coming here and harvesting. And I just was like, Ugh, it's been a week. It's been a week. So, and now I'm like, I'm ready for frost, guys. Look at my hair. <laughs> it's news anchor hair. Welcome, News Channel 2 at 6. Anyway, I am, uh, I'm tired. I'm tired. So I'm gonna shut the camera off and come back on tonight when the bouquet bar is all set up. And it's an evening bouquet bar, so all the lights will be on. It's gonna be awesome, I'm so excited. I've got a really good response on my socials. Um, so hopefully a lot of people come. Oh, the sun's so bright again. Okay, we'll see you later. So I was, um, I had delivered my first bouquet and my phone rang and it was my son. And he said, mom, all the flowers just got knocked over by the wind and the vases are broken. Came home to check. Let's go look. I still have another delivery to make. All right, I'm turning the camera around. <laughs> Go on. Oh God. Okay. Okay, this one's still good. Apparently I have to move it to the floor. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, they're still good. It's still good. It's still good. Okay. Everything is still good. Oh, this gladiola is broken. This gladiola is broken. Okay, all right. Okay, two gladiolas. Okay, those two gladiolas. Oh my God. Okay. I think we just lost two glads. O-M-G, this is stressful. Okay, so I'm gonna have to just put them in boxes, I think. All right. Oh, oh my God. Okay, apparently that one fell right into the bucket of zinnias. 
Okay. Oh! oh my god, I'm a mess, guys. Oh, stressful. Stress. That was that was really stressful. I put some new glads in this one. There were I, I did a little closer inspection. There was one gamfrina that was broken, another one I just snipped it off. Um, and there was one little tiny baby little stem of Lysianthus that, which the flower had like seven, seven stems, so I just snipped it off there too and put it in a little bit of a sturdier container. I really need to figure out something more solid for these, especially like, you see the wind blowing? My trees are, the hammock, it's, it's windy up here. So anyway, now I'm gonna go deliver Lily's flowers. Nice shirt, Brad. Okay, so it's about 4.30. I have half hour before um, round one of the bouquet bar starts. I have it all set up. I separated a lot of things. So right here I have um, some of the gomfrina. I've got uh, blue plurum and the azuratum. I've got celosia and more gomfrina over here. The dahlias are right here. And I know, I'm backlit again. Take a turn right here. I've separated all the Lysianthus into prices by stem because I sell those um, between two and five dollars a stem depending on um, how many buds are on the stem. For example, like this is a five dollar stem of Lysianthus. And then it goes down the line. And then I have the lilies on the corner. Ooh, look how nice it looks, okay. And then I have snow in the mountain and hibiscus right there. And then zinnias, gladiolas, sunflowers. There's more zinnias on the floor. And um, Brad Pitt's on the swing back there. Hi, Brad. My cousin Lucas is here at the moment as well. So I am going to, what else do I have to do? Oh, like look at, I'm gonna clean this stuff up right here. And then uh, I have my change ready. I might go and see what other things, like I only have, people love these um, foxtails. I only have six or seven of them, so I'm gonna run around the yard and try to find more of them because they're like the first things to go usually. So, and I have to finish my price board. Karen, my new customer, just came and made this. Spin it around for me, Karen. Spin it. Oh yes, there it is. Oranges, greens, and whites. And it's my new favorite. Yay, thank you. Dirty Lily. <laughs> okay, so the first night of the bouquet bar is almost done. Oh, at one point there were like literally 10 cars in my driveway. Um, I was having a little bit of anxiety, but I'm good now. It was, no, it was great. Um, but someone just messaged me, they're coming to pick up five bouquets right now. So this is the fourth one that I'm making. Sunflower is opening up. I've got the coxcomb, I've got the mahogany splendor, I've got white lysianthus on top, and I've got some celosia, more celosia. I've got a few zinnias in here. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this one. I might want to keep it. So I am done with the evening bouquet bar. Brad Pitt's making dinner and throwing a dead mango because our kitchen's full of fruit flies. We have about half of everything left, and um, this is a little not true because <laughs> I just went out and cut about 20 more stems of lilies because the lilies, I only had a couple of those left. I just went out and cut another bucket of sunflowers, another bucket of zinnias, which guys, I have to show you my, um, my cactus stems. Oh my gosh, I'm coming to the camera. Oh, focus please. You can't really tell right now, but this cactus sin is like queen lime, like amazing antique color. All right, you can't see it. Anyway. Okay, so I'm on my tippy toes because the camera's up too high. That's it. I have half of everything left. Everything went great. I probably had, I don't know, I'm guessing about 20 customers in the two hour period. There was a point where there were like 10 people on the porch, but it was great. Every, everyone loved everything. Um, they love learning too. That's the, the nice part is that it's a conversation. You're making small talk and people are asking questions and um, asking like what they wanna know. They wanna know the scientific names of the flowers and all that stuff. And um, so I love it.
Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera back on tomorrow morning and um, let you know how the rest of the bouquet bar goes. So, good night. Good morning. My hair's not dry yet. And my, my mascara is going down my face because I just watched this four and a half minute video of this realtor and I don't even know what state she's in. <laughs> she fell over, I don't know. Google, realtor falls, dress goes overhead. Google it, it's worth a watch, I was dying. So I'm like in my getting ready room, like putting my eyeliner and mascara, I like had to stop because I was laughing so hard at this lady. Oh my God, it was hysterical, I'm still crying. Google it. All right. <laughs> My hair's still wet. It's, it woke up, it was 46 degrees. I'm cold. So, cute shirt yesterday, hoodie today. That's how I'm rolling today. One of my customers, Jamie, she's a great customer of mine, um, she just messaged me. She's on her way with orders from seven different people. <laughs> she's gonna wipe me out. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. Notoriously from 8 to 9 is my slowest hour. People aren't up yet. Um, I had three customers She she's on her way for seven people So she works at a restaurant about half an hour north of here and um, Apparently they don't have any fresh flowers up there and all of the girls that work at the restaurant Have ordered flowers for me, so she's gonna bring them up there And this isn't the first time this is like the the third or fourth, maybe even fifth time um, that the girls from, I'm gonna say it, from Slickers in Old Forge, New York, um, thank you. They're like my best customers. I think I might have to establish an Old Forge branch. Brad Pitt just made me breakfast. He just came out here. Steak and eggs. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Where's my hot sauce? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the fridge, he says. Caught ya! Run, run! <laughs> James. Oh, how many so people? Beautiful. How many people were you just picking up for? Seven. Oh my god. Seven. And we just put all these together. It didn't take us that what? Twenty minutes? Yeah, not bad at all. We're getting good at this. We are. So we've got There's some so fall ready. themes and some pinks and some purples, and then uh, everyone gets to choose their own and Jamie got my last stem of Buplerum for her own personal one. Yay! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see those gladiolas when they all open. Watch your step. You got two more. Careful. Careful. Alright. Bye guys. Bye. You want to hold them? You want to hold on to them? Yeah, grab them like that. <laughs> Violet, what do you have? Show me. Oh, what'd you drop? Stinky dinky. Show Nicole. Show me. Show Nicole. Cheese her. Spin it around for me, Heather. O M G. Congratulations on your promotion. Oh, thank you. Is a bouquet high a thing? <laughs> like, whew, I am literally like so excited about that bouquet that I just made. So that's um, a family friend. Heather, um, I was super close with her brother. Um, he, her brother was my uncle's best friend growing up. So he was like an uncle to me. Anyway, so that's, that's Heather. And she just got a promotion at work. Congratulations. So she came here le like 11.57. Bouquet bar is like wrapping up. Heather pulls in and she's like, do you have anything left? And I'm like, not really. <laughs> like. I have been picked clean. I have been picked clean. It's insane. Um, so I said, listen, Heather, we're going to make magic happen. She goes, I, she got a promotion at work and tomorrow evening they're having like, like a little celebration for her promotion. So she wanted to bring a beautiful, like in your face bouquet to thank the woman who hired her. So we made it happen. I ran, I was like, running out to the gladiolas. I was cutting, cutting sunflowers, cutting lilies, because everything wanted to be like full display open, which is, again, why I like to have things open in the field and not all the way shut up all the time, because someone comes in and is like, I have an event today. I'm not gonna hand them something that's closed and say, here's a lily. Here's a lily. Like, 
No. So I ran out there and I brought back some of these. Here's a lily. So we put a few stems of lilies in there. I pumped it with lisianthus. I mean, you saw that. Oh my God. It was awesome. I like, I'm literally, this is a great feeling. Let's keep doing this. All right, so I'm gonna just cut this off and start editing this video so I can get it to you guys. Oh, I have one more customer that's coming. One of my CSA members is coming to get her last CSA for the day, for the season, not the day. And uh, I can show you that one. I just put it together and I don't know why I was feeling oranges and purples and yellows. So that's what I just did. And then I've got the stargazer lilies in there too that'll open up for her. And I did put a couple of glads that weren't open in here because I wanted her to like see immediately and fall in love and then fall in love with it over time. I stuck a couple of dahlias in there too. They won't last as long as the rest will. But anyway, so this will be my last bouquet of the bouquet bar season for 2020. I am really hoping to be able to do this like every Saturday next year. It's been a huge success. I think I'm gonna put this, this azuratum just fell out of a vase. Yup, it's going in. <gasps> yes, it's going in. Okay, I gotta redo this. We'll see you guys.